So the first thing we'll need to do before we start anything is download the Webform module. So head over to drupal.org slash project slash Webform. And from here, you can download the project manually by scrolling all the way down to the bottom and clicking on one of these links, or you could use Composer just by running this command. Now, I highly recommend that you use Composer instead of manually downloading the module and copying it in your Drupal site. Now, another module which I highly recommend is Token. Now, the Token API is part of Drupal Core, but the Token module gives you a nice UI for browsing available tokens. Now, for people who don't know, tokens are just little placeholders that you can place into text, which then Drupal will render and replace with the token you have specified. Think of them as shortcodes, if you are familiar with shortcodes in WordPress. So if you wanna to download token, simply run this composer command or manually download the module by clicking on one of these links. But chances are you may have this module already in your Drupal project. Once you've downloaded the modules, go to your Drupal site and then go to extend and search for web form and you can see that Webform comes with a lot of submodules, but the two most important ones for us right now are Webform and Webform UI. But if you have a little bit of time, play around with the demo and example submodules. You will really be able to see what Webform is capable of when you install those modules. So have a play around with them. And also don't forget to install Token if it's not already installed. Now, Webform uses a bunch of external libraries to add extra functionality. So if you go to Structure, Webforms, Configuration, and then Libraries, and if you scroll down, you can see all of the external libraries. And as you can see, most of them are switched on. If you don't want to use a particular external library, simply uncheck the checkbox and click on Save. Now, if you scroll all the way up, you'll see this nice little message, which tells you how to download the libraries because by default, the libraries are automatically loaded from a CDN, but it is recommended that you download them into the Drupal libraries directory. Now, for people who don't know, the libraries directory in Drupal allows you to share external libraries across multiple modules. So you only have one version of the library. Instead of having a version of it in five or six modules, there's only one version of it. And then if I jump over to my site, you can see that there's a libraries directory here, but there's nothing in it. So downloading all of these libraries is very easy thanks to Webform because Webform gives us a bunch of Drush commands. So you won't have to manually go to each website, download, the zip file and manually extract it. You can easily run one Drush command to download them, but there are a few Drush commands which I wanna go through now. So the first two are Webform Libraries Make and Webform Libraries Composer. These commands will create a make file or a composer.json file with all of the libraries in them. And then you have Webform Libraries Download. This will simply download all of the libraries and extract them into your libraries directory. Now, this is the easiest and quickest way to get started, especially if you are running a local site. And then here you have a Webform Composer Update. Now, this will modify the Composer file in your Drupal installation with all of the libraries in there. So if you are using Composer to manage all of your dependencies and build your Drupal site, then give this command a go. And then finally, if you don't have Drush at all, you can download a zipped version of the whole libraries directory from this URL. But I would recommend that you at least install Drush and then run Webform Libraries Download. So let me jump over into my terminal. And then if I type in Drush, you can see all of the Webform commands here. Now these commands look different to these, and that is because these Drush commands a Drush 8 commands, whereas here I'm running Drush 9. But you can pretty much figure out the Drush 9 version. Just replace hyphens with colons, and that's it. So if I was to run the download command, so let me just clear the terminal and run Drush Webform Libraries Download, and then just give it a minute or two. 
So now if I jump back into my site and go into the libraries directory, you can see all of the external libraries. Now let's jump back into the browser. If you're more than happy to use the CDN, you can stop web form from displaying these type of messages. So go to advanced and then simply uncheck, check if CDN is being used for external libraries. Now this means web form will stop warning you if you are loading libraries through a CDN.